Hi, so my name's Anya um, and I'm a first year studying history here at Keeble. Hi, I'm Ella, I'm a second year history and politics student at Keeble. I'm Basola, I'm a second year and I study history here at Keeble. Hi, I'm Josh, I'm a first year history and Spanish student. At Keeble for History you have two interviews. One is basically a conversation based on your personal statement and written work and the second is a conversation based on a source that you're giving you're given in advance. Um, and I was not interviewed at any other colleges. So in my first interview I got given a transcript between two US presidents and the interview was basically just um, ascertaining what I could get from the context of the sources and what that showed about history at the time. Um, and then my second history interview I got given an academic article about social revolutions and I basically had to apply history already new to the article. Every interview I had two interviewers, um, normally one sits and takes notes whilst the other is asking the questions, however in the Spanish interview uh, the Spanish tutor asked me uh, questions on the source in English and then we switched to speak in Spanish with the other interviewer who was a native speaker and that was more about my personal step. One thing that I did that I found very helpful was I started talking about things that I found interesting in like history with just my parents and my friends and they didn't necessarily know what I was talking about but it was quite helpful for me to speak out loud and articulate my thoughts and sort of begin to organise them. I think the main thing to do for preparing for an interview is to go over the um, personal statement and your written work that you've sent in already. It's really likely that they'll ask you a question about these um, aspects of the application so if you can go over those and feel prepared as you can, that's the best way to get ready for an interview. I only decided that I wanted to study history in like the summer of year 12, so I hadn't necessarily read a lot of historical material um, and I didn't have loads of deep-seated interest, but I found something that I was really interested in, which was South African history, um, and I started listening to loads of podcasts about it and reading articles and just sort of developing an interest um, in something um, that I was able to use like examples of in my interview and it really helped me to like articulate my arguments with like historical examples and sort of having a niche interest was quite helpful. Another thing that I would recommend doing which was very helpful is reading over your personal statement and your written work and trying to pull out themes and like maybe possible things that you think you might be asked or think you could do differently or a different lens you could look at your written work through. My first interview was the one about the conversation with like, about my personal statement and my written work. I didn't really get asked very many questions on my personal statement as a whole. I got asked a lot more questions on my written work, so I would definitely say try and make sure you know your written work well. Um, I think they were mostly just questions. I think he asked me to summarise the argument that I'd made in the essay, and then asked me if I still agreed with the argument I'd made. Um, and I think a lot of the questions I was asked weren't really to do with like facts, like historical facts, which I thought it would be. It was more asking me like what I thought about certain things, um, like and my opinion on certain events and things like that. The second interview was um, the source-based interview, and that one I was asked to summarise the source in about three in four sentences, and I did it in three. But then they prompted me to keep going, and then in the fourth sentence, I think. They were like, I had said something that I hadn't said beforehand. And then we just basically worked our way through the source and they allow you to have the source with you. So they don't expect you to remember everything. So I was able to look through my notes. Um, and yeah, they asked me questions, um, like to working through the source. So one thing I did expect of interviews is I expected them to feel a little bit like a test or almost like an interrogation. Um, but it didn't prove to be like that. Um, whenever I didn't understand something or I got a little bit stuck, the interviews um, interviewers are very good at sort of guiding you through the problem or the issue and you're able to ask questions um, and if you didn't understand a word or something like that, they were always there to help. So I expected the tutors to be a lot harsher than they were. Thought if I got something wrong, maybe they'd correct me straight away. But they didn't, they were very nice about it and they talked me through maybe what I'd misunderstood and pointed me to the right answer. Um, the interviews worked a lot more like a tutorial that we have, our lessons that we have, um, in terms of it being a discussion more than just a question and answer interview. 
and I found that really constructive and it really helped me learn and enjoy the experience a lot more.